equation. Work equals the integral from the initial to the final position of the force with respect to position. But we've usually talked about that in terms of a single force. Instead of looking at it in terms of a single force, let's look at it in terms of the net work, which would mean that this would be the net force. Remind me, Evan, what is Newton's second law? Uh, net force, which is a vector, is equal to mass times acceleration, which is also a vector. Great. We're not going to worry too much about the vectors right now, the directions all in the x direction, so it's going to be in the x direction. So we can substitute for the net force, mass times acceleration. Now notice, we have the network here is equal to the integral from the initial to the final position of mass times acceleration with respect to position. We can't actually do that integral yet, right? Because mass times acceleration doesn't really have um, a position in it. So we need to look at the definition of acceleration. So we know this is equal to the integral from the initial to the final position of mass times the derivative of velocity with respect to time. Well, we're still not there yet, because we need something with respect to x. So let's take a look at dv dt, the derivative of velocity with respect to time. <coughs> well, it turns out that's equal to the derivative of velocity with respect to position times the derivative of position time with respect to time. <coughs> right? Because if you multiply these two together, the dx's cancel out, you get dv dt. So we can substitute for the derivative of velocity with respect to time the concept of the der derivative of velocity with respect to position multiplied by the der derivative of position with respect to time. So we're going to do that. The integral from initial to final position of mass times the derivative of velocity with respect to position times the derivative of position with respect to time. Now, we can move some stuff around. We get, oh, with respect to x. Right? So what we can do here is we can cancel out these two dx's. And we get the integral from position initial to position final of mass times dv dt with respect to, I'm sorry, no, we want to do this one, dx dt with respect to velocity. What's the derivative of position as a function of time class? Velocity. So this is equal to the integral from the initial to the final of mass times velocity with respect to velocity. So we need to change our initial conditions because we're no longer talking about with respect to position. So we need to change it. We're now talking about with respect to velocity. So this is actually going to be from velocity initial to velocity final, whatever velocity we have initially and velocity final. So, okay, let's take the integral of mass times velocity with respect to velocity, please. Okay. Um, here's, there is, I want to get the point on velocity, and velocity squared, so the mass of velocity squared is divided by two. From the initial velocity to the final velocity, or if you prefer, the net work is equal to uh, one half mass times velocity squared from the initial velocity to the final velocity. Oh, oh wait a minute. That's kinetic energy. So notice, there's a big difference between this class and the class you took before. We use calculus to derive all this stuff. This is where it comes from. This is where the concept of kinetic energy comes from, from taking the integral of the equation for net work. Okay? So what we have here is this is 1 half mass times velocity final squared minus 1 half mass times velocity initial squared, or kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial, or the change in kinetic energy. The net work equals the change in kinetic energy. This is called the net work kinetic energy theorem. And I will tell you, this one, for some reason, is not on your equation sheet. I don't have a reason why, but it's not. You need to memorize it. It needs to be in your brain, and it needs to be easily accessible. Because this equation comes up a lot. The net work kinetic energy theorem. 
So the network equals the change in kinetic energy. 